Hey people, I'm Mike Brown from LendEDU, and today I'm answering the question, can you take out student loans for living expenses? And the answer is, drum roll, please. Yes, you can use student loans, both federal and private, for living expenses and housing. Student loans are meant to be used for all expenses associated with going to college, including tuition and fees, books and other classroom supplies, study abroad expenses, fees for licensing, certification, or professional testing, housing, either on or off campus, groceries, toiletries, medications, and other personal items, and dependent care if you inform your school's financial aid office. But you do need to keep in mind that you can't borrow an unlimited amount of student loans, so you need to budget for your living expenses carefully. Each school will estimate your annual total cost of attendance, which includes required school fees like tuition and living expenses. And you can only borrow federal student loans up to their limits or the cost of attendance minus any other financial aid received, whichever one is lower. Because of these limits, it is possible that you run out of student loan funds while still having living expenses to pay for. So it's imperative that you budget out your student loans for living expenses responsibly so that you can cover a whole semester's worth of costs. When you take out student loans, the funds are typically sent straight to your school by either your student loan lender or your student loan servicer. Your school then deducts the cost of tuition plus room and board and gives the remainder of the funds back to you. If you live off campus, you usually will get a larger refund check because your school isn't deducting the cost of a dorm room. Either way, your refund check will come back to you as one lump sum payment and you can then use those funds for whatever college living expenses you may have. But remember, these funds are supposed to last an entire semester, so budget wisely. When it comes to using student loans for living expenses, both federal and private student loans can be used. Some private student loan lenders that LendEDU is partners with and receives compensation from when sending traffic to their websites, like Earnest, College Ave, and Citizens Bank, offer student loans that can be used for living expenses. Interest rates on these will typically range from 1.04% to 11.98% with a variable interest rate, or 3.34% to 13.03% with a fixed interest rate. Be sure to do your own independent research on any of these student loan lenders before going any further. Federal student loans can also be used for living expenses and housing, and typically have much lower interest rates than private student loan lenders. In addition, the more benefits, protections, and repayment options. So it's recommended you first maximize your federal student loan options before turning to the private market. Now remember I said your school will deduct your on-campus housing expenses from your student loans if you live on campus. But if you live off campus, your housing expenses won't be deducted. Instead, your student loan funds will be sent back to you to be used as needed for living expenses. Knowing this, let's go over the steps to follow when using your student loans for off-campus housing. Step one, deposit your student loan refund check. Once you receive the student loan refund check from your school, you can deposit the money into your bank account just like any other check. Step two, pay rent or other housing expenses. Simply write a check or make payments however you typically would from your bank account for rent as if it were your own money. Step three, monitor your account balance. It's important to remember you won't get any more student loan funds until the next semester. So you should monitor your account balance to ensure you will have enough funds to afford rent for the whole semester plus any other living expenses. Step four, avoid unnecessary spending. Unfortunately, some students do use student loan money for unnecessary expenses. Be sure to reserve your student loan money only for those expenses that are absolutely necessary during college. So I've already said it a few times during this video, but I'm gonna say it again. When it comes to using student loans for college living expenses, the most important thing you can do is to carefully budget out those student loan funds so that they can last an entire semester's worth of college living expenses. Don't go buck wild and use all of your student loan funds for any and all college living expenses so that you run out before the semester is even over. 
If this happens, you might have to resort to something like racking up credit card debt to cover your remaining college living expenses. And this is especially true if you're a college student with limited time to work to earn additional income. So knowing this, let's go over the do's and don'ts of using student loans for college living expenses. Do use your student loans for tuition costs and fees, school activities that enhance your resume or deepen your learning, Study abroad programs that give you exposure to different cultures and the chance to learn new things while living in a foreign country. Books and other supplies you need for classes. Essential living expenses, including rent, food, toiletries, and personal items. Tutoring or training you need to excel in your college career. Professional testing, certificates, or licensing. A computer you need to perform schoolwork. Do not use your student loans for Spring break trips. A previous LendEDU study actually found 57% of student loan borrowers going on spring break use student loans to help fund that trip. Jeez. Nights out at bars, an expensive apartment, designer clothing, expensive electronics, restaurants or takeout, treating your friends, and buying a car you absolutely don't need to get to class or buying a vehicle that's just too expensive for a college student. So, when it comes to using student loans for living expenses, the key is in the planning. So that you're not drowning in debt after graduation, you want to borrow the absolute minimum amount of student loans you need to not only attend college, but to maintain a reasonable standard of living as a college student. And then once you have that student loan money, you just need to budget out those student loans for living expenses wisely so that they can last an entire semester. My people, as always, thanks for watching. And drop a comment if you have any questions about student loans for living expenses. And check out the description if you want to find more helpful student loan resources. And hit that LendEDU button to subscribe to the LendEDU YouTube channel. Do it, do it, do it. I'm Mike Brown from LendEDU. Peace.